Neptune Systems recently reached out to me with some brand new sensors that they've been cooking up and they look awesome. There are three to be exact, two of which are upgraded solutions to sensors that we already know and love, while one is a completely new design that might just change the way that we monitor liquid levels forever. So let's kick things off by looking at a new take on the old reliable leak detection sensor. Rather than the conductive strips that we're used to seeing on leak sensors, the new LD3 sensors are optical and have two distinct advantages over their conductive counterparts. Firstly, the LD3 optical leak sensors are reusable over and over, no matter how many times they come in contact with salt water. And that's because all of the components are epoxy sealed, unlike the LD1 and LD2 sensors, which have their conductive strips on their circuit boards, which are exposed to the salt water they come into contact with, which can essentially make them a one-time use if they become corroded. The LD3 optical leak sensors are also immune to false alarms based on the surfaces that they're placed on, unlike like the conductive strips on the LD1 and LD2, which can trip if they're placed on another conductive surface like metal. So you're able to use the optical leak sensors on more surfaces and essentially more places than its predecessors. Next up, we've got the V3 magnetic optical sensor. This one is also a huge improvement in my opinion, especially when it comes to form factor and magnet quality. The V2 optical level sensor was a basic threaded sensor and then used a separate magnetic mount with a tubing clip to hold it in place. Instead, the V3 has a built-in magnetic mount with a completely silicone encased external magnet, which is not only completely waterproof, but also really cuts down on the size for a much smaller form factor, making it easier to sneak into tighter spaces or on baffles inside of the sump without worrying about swelling magnets. The V3 is also just a much nicer looking sensor sporting the Neptune system's gray and orange and kicking that generic look of the V2 to the curb. The most exciting sensor, however, is the brand new LLS or liquid level sensor. It is an entirely new type of water level sensor that is so much more capable than a simple optical eye, and this is the first time we're seeing this tech in the reefing hobby. Instead of just being able to detect the presence or absence of a liquid, it can quite accurately tell you the exact depth of a liquid, and when that depth changes, and by how much, which opens up some very cool opportunities. The LLS will be available in four sizes, a four inch, a 15 inch, a 23 inch, and a whopping 35 inch, which means you can use them in something as small as a dosing container and as large as a mixing station. The LLS stick itself looks like a thin ruler inside of a clear tube and will be able to mount to panels using a clip holster to keep it in place. It'll connect to your Apex through an FMM port just like an optical or leak or flow sensor would, and you'll have a widget right Right on the Apex Fusion's new UI with an animated visual readout and water depth listed in either centimeters or inches, which looks really sharp in my opinion. You'll also have a tile on the classic Fusion dashboard with a graph to show you not just the current liquid level, but also the history of the liquid level over time, which could definitely come in handy. Like I was mentioning earlier, the LLS is going to give you the ability to tell the exact depth of water in your sump or your ATO reservoir, or your mixing station, and you can have your Apex send you notifications or even take action for you if that level changes by a specific amount. You could, for example, have your DC return pump slow down just enough to prevent cavitation if the water level in the return section drops too far or you can track your aquarium's evaporation rate. You'll even be able to set up multiple reminders as your ATO reservoir gets lower and lower so you know exactly how much more time you have to put off before filling it back up. Not gonna lie, probably gonna use this one for that exact reason because I am absolutely terrible at refilling my ATO reservoir on time, but I digress. I truly think that the ability to monitor liquid level to this degree is really gonna give us reefers an opportunity to come up with some creative and novel uses that we just wouldn't have thought of before this sensor was available. Like, I don't know, optimizing roller mat functionality much more accurately so that you have less overflow fluctuation and noise while also making sure it advances exactly when it needs to. While these new sensors should be available very soon as add-on accessories, so keep your eyes peeled, 
I would also really love to see Neptune systems include these new sensors, especially the LLS, along with an FMM module in the Apex bundles instead of less popular probes like the Salinity probe or even the ORP probe, since the average reefer will get much more use out of these types of sensors. Speaking of which, if you'd like to see some really cool ways you can use these types of sensors, check out our Master Your Apex playlist where we walk you through how to set them up in all kinds of different ways that can change the way you reef and just make things a whole heck of a lot easier. So have a watch.